Alright, what's up you guys? So I wanted to kind of change it up for you all. Um, I was looking back at some old emails, trying to clear my email um, out of like junk emails, and I came across this receipt for like over $1,300 that I spent on items like equipment for a PA school. And I was like, what in the world? Like, why did I spend so much money on this stuff? And it's because it was that expensive, and we were told that we needed it for PA school, but I really realized that uh, half of those things, actually more than 90% of them, I don't use in my day-to-day -day life as a trauma PA. So I wanted to kind of give you guys a little heads up and some tips on things that you should avoid buying brand new for PA school and you know, just don't waste your money because it's a waste of money. So let's get into the video right now. What's up you guys, it's Adana, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so like I said, I was cleaning out my email, I was looking at some stuff, and I was like, dang, this is over $1,300, this is ridiculous. And I was poor at that time, right? Like, I was a struggling, like, trying to get into PA school, pre-PA, and I had to dish out this money to buy all of these this equipment. So I have something that I, like, absolutely use on a consistent basis in my job um, that is definitely well worth the money, so I'll show you guys that. And if you you guys haven't seen like my video from way back when I was in PA school and I was talking about uh, all of my equipment that I use in PA school go check that video I'll, I'll leave a link for it in the description box and maybe like an end card right here but uh, this this my Litman okay this item right here this is imperative. So I use this on a consistent basis. Oh, this is some dust. This is my, <laughs> this has been up in my closet, the box. I don't know why I still have it, but I use my Littman Cardiology um, stethoscope on a consistent basis in trauma because we have to listen to lungs and you know you're listening for breath sounds and all of these various different things when people come in as traumas into the trauma bay to see if they have a pneumo or see if the OG is in the right place or see if you know they're getting aerated correctly and the ET tube is in the right place like the endotracheal tube that goes down in an intubation so those are things that I'm consistently using my stethoscope for and just like on sometimes like day-to-day -day rounds you like listen to people's lungs and things like that uh, when you're concerned so definitely not a waste okay absolutely buy this like you can splurge on it like mine was um purple it has like a little like um what is it called like rainbowy like it's so pretty it's beautiful I love it so you can splurge on it it has my like little um engraving on it you know, because it's going to be with me forever, hopefully. So that's that. But <laughs> there are some things that I have never used in the almost three years that I've been out of PA school. And no, in the three years that I've been out of PA school. And um, yeah, it's it was a waste of time. So I got them from, we got them from like Welsh Allen. Welsh Allen is... Um, where we we were told to buy our items and they have good products they worked for me in pa school but look at this y'all look some scissors still in the bag <laughs> never use this i've never used this it's still in the bag not not torn out at all okay um but yeah so we have some scissors um i don't know what this is i think these are like for the the air piece oh no this so this is like the little bulb that you squeeze it attaches to um like your otoscope and stuff so i will show you that but it comes it's a little bulb um eye and ear nose bulb okay so that's what that is okay never used it i didn't even use it in pa school which is what we bought it for the mallet for your reflexes okay so you can have like your check your reflexes never use this i think i may have used it like once in pa school but like look at this it's like in, it's still in great condition <laughs> because i don't use it in my regular day-to-day -day work so waste of time you guys don't even like if you can 
get these things used from your upperclassmen. Um, a lot of them are not going to use it on their job. Their job is already going to have like half of these things, the majority of these things, the things that they actually need, especially if they're working like in hospital or in um, an office space that's already been set up. Like you're not going to be bringing your own stuff except for your stethoscope. So don't even waste your time on that and your money. I have all of these um, little earpiece uh, things to kind of look in your ear. Um, so the thing is, is that I do use these. Um, I use these because my husband is like a fanatic about like cleaning his air out and like, you know, coming because he can't hear or something like that. So I use these to like look in his ear. So actually I do use it outside of PA school, but not for my job. So if you have a husband like mine, I guess, sure, go ahead and, and get, um, <laughs> the otoscope and, and use that. But if not, then it's just get it used. Tuning fork. I don't know if you can hear it. I'm trying to see if you can hear it in my thing, but this is a tuning fork. I can hear the buzzing. You might be able to hear the buzzing in there, but um, I only use this for my, like, like that module in PA school. And here's the other, other one. Let's see if you guys can hear that, I don't know. Other tuning fork. Um, this is a measuring tape. Again, these are all in this box that has been up in my closet that I have not used for a long time. So measuring tape. And this was like, so you can kind of see like the panoramic, like you use this to look and see the panoramic eye view. Okay, so this was, again, from like Welsh Allen. You, um use this to do like the panoramic like ophthalmoscope view uh but again as you can see like still everything is pretty much still in the box in the case not used so those are some of the things that i definitely don't use another thing that was expensive um that i went ahead and got like the cool one that i don't use at all is this <laughs> My pediatric, okay, my pediatric <laughs> blood pressure cuff and my adult blood pressure cuff, which are in great condition, um, don't use it, but uh, you know what? My mom is trying to start a little clinic um, back home, and so maybe I can donate these things to her because she can definitely use a blood pressure cuff, but I've... I used it only in that module in PA school. I didn't even use it like when we were in the free clinic um, or when I was on my rotations because again, they had these there already. So here it is, great mint condition, never been used. And then the last thing, okay, that <laughs> I use but I don't use. Like I said, I use it for my husband because he is a fanatic when it comes to his ear, but this Welsh Allen again which was the products that we were told to get and then this is my ophthalmoscope and otoscope so I don't know the last time I used my ophthalmoscope um, now the thing is that um, when my kids were like still young uh, like my littlest when she was really young and she would get like air she got still got air infections so I actually used my otoscope then to kind of like test out my skills and also see if like yeah she had like any like fluid behind her eardrum that I could see um and I was able to see that so I used it then but you guys like I've never I've never used this otoscope ever again in my life like in since 2019 I have not used it um and then this is the I mean the ophthalmoscope and this is the otoscope right so like I said this is what I use on a consistent basis <laughs> to look in Aunt's ear. Um, so that is it. Those are the items that I wasted my money on that I don't use um, in my everyday work as a PA. And so like I said, pro tip for you guys, if you can get it for a very like 
um, reduced price from the upperclassmen that are no longer gonna be using it, that are graduating. I suggest you do that. There's usually some type of like come together, meet and greet between the lower, like the new classes that are coming in and the upperclassmen that are leaving or will be going into their second year. So um, if you are at that, you know, like ask around and say, hey, is there anything that I can buy? Or if you're paired up with a mentor, something along those lines, because honestly, like, spending $1,300 on these items that you're never going to use again or highly likely not going to use again, it's it's not worth it. Like you can pay, you know, premium price for your stethoscope, like a hundred, couple hundred dollars. But um, apart from that, all of these other items are a waste of your money. So don't do it. Okay. All right. If you guys have any other questions for me, please leave them in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Follow me on Instagram at Adon the PA and on Instagram at Get That's the University. Thank you so much for watching. I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.